get ready for the dictation dictation will start in 5 seconds start the case of the petitioner is that under the service rules the period of probation prescribed is one year and since no order was passed extending the period of probation and consequently comma he would be deemed to have been confirmed in december comma 2000 full stop it is argued that the provision could be extended by a maximum period of three years comma which expired in december comma 2003 full stop thereafter comma his services would be deemed to have been confirmed full stop there was no justification in not confirming him in the year 2005 or in postponing the issue relating to confirmation on the ground that his services had been not been found to be satisfactory full stop. It is argued that the same mistake was committed when the respondent refused to confirm the petitioner in October, 2007 full stop. It is further submitted that at the relevant time there was no adverse entry in presiding five years full stop. The solitary adverse entry of the year 2001-2 comma being an entry more than five years old comma could not be more made basis for not confirming the petitioner and in denying promotion to him full stop the warning issued by the registrar general by order of dated 12-6-2007 also could not form basis for withholding confirmation or denying promotion to the petitioner in as much as warning is neither an adverse entry nor a punishment under the service rules full stop. It is pointed out that a preliminary inquiry in another matter which also formed the basis for denying confirmation comma has culminated in favor of the petitioner and thus comma the same could not have been the basis for denying confirmation in service full stop. The writ petition was opposed by learned counsel for the respondent by contending that under the service rules, comma, although a maximum period of probation as well as extended period of probation are prescribed, comma, yet there is no provision of deemed confirmation full stop. It is submitted that the appointing authority is enjoined with the duty to assess the suitability of a candidate and he is confirmed only if he is found fit and his integrity is certified full stop. It is argued that in the case of the petitioner, comma, his work and conduct was not found to be satisfactory full stop. It is submitted that in the year 2001-2 there was an adverse entry against the petitioner followed by another adverse entry in the year 2004-5 which though was expunged later on full stop. It is submitted that in the year 2005, the case of the petitioner was considered for confirmation of his services, but it was found to be unsatisfactory full stop. 
consequently comma the matter was deferred full stop it is pointed out that in a departmental proceeding held against the petitioner comma he was found guilty of indiscipline and misbehavior with his superiors full stop however comma the respondent comma taking into consideration the unconditional apology submitted by the petitioner as well as the fact that it was first such instance comma took a lenient view and instead of awarding any severe punishment comma he was let off with a warning to be careful in future and we a disciplined employee full stop